clearly something terribly goes wrong in, in the Alzheimer's brain. And uh, if you think about it, there could be something that you need that disappears, or there could be something uh, damaging that appears. And what Alzheimer's taught us 100 years ago is that there's something that shows up that should not be there. People used to think Alzheimer's disease was, or it wasn't Alzheimer's disease, it was senility, and that was normal for aging, not so. So uh, we think there are now toxins that show up in the brain, and that actually was uh, a concept built on Alzheimer's discovery of plaques and tangles in the brain. There are toxins that are associated with those plaques and tangles. Well, the, the, the dominant theory for decades in Alzheimer's uh, research community was the, the, the plaque, so amyloid plaque. It's not supposed to be there. And uh, the thought was that those plaques show up and they kill neurons, and that leads to dementia. Turned out not to be the case. Plaques shouldn't be there, but they're not really the culprit. Something related to plaques, a small molecule, um, that floats around and attacks neurons. That's what's there. It's kind of like a beehive and hornets coming out from it. So the plaque is kind of like a hive, whereas the real toxins are much like the hornets that come out. These are called oligomers, or A-beta oligomers. Those are toxic to neurons. That's a, a really important question that we've actually learned a lot about. It turns out that these toxins are are like hormones, uh, and they bind only to very specific nerve cells in very specific places. They bind to synapses. And when they bind to a synapse, and that's where memory begins, this communication between neurons at synapses, when these toxins bind to synapses, they destroy that biochemistry uh, of memory formation. In, in the Alzheimer's brain, it's clear that the brain shrinks and there's a lot of nerve cell death. But early in the disease, it's the reversible attack on synapses that uh, starts the memory dysfunction. When the neuron gets more and more shrunken and degenerated, ultimately it wastes away until nothing is left but the skeleton inside of it. And those traces of the skeleton are still in the brain. But that's not really the problem with Alzheimer's disease. It's these first steps of the attack on synapses, which we think is reversible. That effect of the oligomers on the synapses is a biochemistry uh, event that doesn't kill the neuron. It causes some damage locally um, where the synapses shrink. But if you somehow get rid of the oligomers, I think the synapses can come back to life. We'll never know how long it takes in the, in the human brain, but in experiments, so in the, in, in the laboratory, it's possible for the toxins that we study to kill neurons after a couple of days, maybe a week. And of course, that's an artificial environment, but we learn about what's going on that way. If you look in the brain of an Alzheimer's patient, you can see that only certain neurons are affected, and the number of neurons that gets affected increases as the disease progresses. So it isn't an, it isn't an all-happening-at-once phenomenon. So if we can stop the disease early, we'll be lucky. Boy, I wish we did. I wish we had the whole story. But in science, there's, there's never a whole story. And uh, the level of investigation is getting more and more intense trying to understand what the whole story is. And I, th I think we're going to make it.